and close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice where you feel it as it comes in and goes out. Try to anchor your mind there, because the mind needs an anchor. Otherwise, it gets blown around by winds and storms and currents in the water. It's like a boat out in the middle of the ocean. And if it doesn't have an anchor, who knows where it's going to get blown away to. We need to have an anchor in the present moment so we can keep our sense of what's right and wrong. Know what's having an impact on us and know if it's, if it's a good impact or a bad one. And if it's having a bad impact, how we can resist it. If the mind is well planted in the body, okay, then it, then it has a home. It has a place where it feels like it belongs here. It doesn't get blown out of, blown out away. So try to stay anchored right here. And as anything comes up in the mind, don't let it pull you away. If it's something you really have to think about, okay, take care of it and then come back. It's not that you don't think at all when you're practicing. Sometimes you have to think about what you're doing. Sometimes you have to think about what you're facing as you're going to go into the world when you leave the meditation. But try to keep those thoughts at the end of the meditation. Right now you want some practice in staying right here and not getting blown around by things. Then you can step back from what's going on in the mind and decide, okay, what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful and what's not that's coming up in the mind. If it seems to be skillful, okay, you can go with it, but you have to check every time. Something that seems skillful may not always be skillful in the end. So you want to check before you go why you're thinking it, why you're doing it, and then after it's done. And then you can learn. This adds to your body of knowledge that you can then hold in mind as to what works and what doesn't work, what really is skillful and what's not. So th some things we can learn from the teachings as to what's skillful and what's not. Other things are a little bit more, more subtle. Again, those you have to use your powers of observation. But by keeping the mind centered right here, you improve your powers of observation. Because the more you have some stillness in the mind, the more clearly you can see when things are moving. Otherwise, everything's moving and you have no idea what's going on. It's like being in a train, looking out. Everything seems to run along. Cars run, people walk, but mountains seem to run too. Trees seem to run too. Houses seem to run too as well. It's when you get down from the train and just stand on the ground, that's when you can see what's moving and what's not. And then you can see clearly what you have to watch out for, where the storms are coming from, and what you can do to protect yourself. To so try to have a sense of this center right here. It keeps you anchored and you don't get blown away. And it protects you from a lot of things that otherwise would cause damage in life. 